Okay. Greetings. So I want to speak to you concerning going beyond the third eye. You see, many people speak about the third eye and the pineal gland and how to decalcify the pineal gland and so on. However, you will hardly hear anyone speak about going beyond the third eye. And the claim that the third eye is right here. But here is not where your body ends. Okay. You see, you have, you have from the soling of your feet to the crown of your head. And the crown of your head is where you should go beyond. And to do that, it's like a volcanic eruption taking place within you and blowing off that cover. And so when you understand that the crown of your head, there is an opening. And that opening is an entrance. It's a, a gateway. It's a stargate into another dimension. For you to understand that, you have to go beyond the third eye. You have to have that experience where you burst your crown chakra and go into infinity, into the eighth dimension. Okay, you see, many people speak about the, the seven chakras, but those chakras represent different dimensions. Okay, different portals different energy centers all these names can be used and seven is completion seven represent you coming to the full understanding of you being are you having i should say this human experience but when you want to go beyond humanity, you have to move from seven into eight. Eight is the infinity, is infinity. Eight is you coming to oneness with your infinite self. And that's a different dimension. And that dimension is also a different frequency, a different vibration. And the vibration will get stronger and stronger as you go higher and higher until you experience an earthquake because it's a, a greater vibration because you're going higher. And so to go to the ultimate is to go into the dimension of a nine. This is where all multiplication takes place. The, that is where the frontal, the, the, the final frontier, I should say, of transportation will take place, which is translation. And so in that dimension where translation takes place, that is the dimension of the invisible. That is where the true alchemists understand how to transmute energy into matter by experience. This is where you come into your Christ consciousness. This is where you have the second birth. This is where you experience the real, real virgin birth. This is where you get connected with your Melchizedek gene. This is where the spark of God explodes within you. And you have, as I described earlier, as a volcanic eruption. And that is why, naturally speaking, 
in the earth when there's a, a volcanic eruption. There's also a renewal that is taking place after that e e eruption. Whatever it exudes from the volcano, it used later on for fertilization, for growth, for renewing, for things being born again. Okay, so all of that in the natural, it is because of what is happening in the spiritual. And so for you to have this experience of which I'm speaking about, it must be done unconditionally. There's nothing you can really do to have this experience. The things people can do to help to decalcify their pineal gland and to experience seeing life from a different angle, from a different perspective, and so on, and saying that they have their third eyes open. But when it comes to this ultimate experience, okay, it would take place with the mystics. You see, each and every one of us have been given different gifts in this world. And the gift of a mystic is where you would have certain experience that others may never experience in this lifetime they may experience it maybe in another lifetime but in this lifetime and you sharing this experience with them and so my brother my sisters if you grew up and you were taught to believe the bible as literal and believe the bible as secular history and believe that there was a man two thousand years ago who had special powers and who had a virgin birth well, I'm here to say to you that if you are told that this same man is the same yesterday, today, and forever, you will realize that there is only now. There is no past. There is no future. There is only now. You see, you can say yesterday only in the present. Okay? And you can say tomorrow only in the present time. And so when you understand that it is speaking all about your Christ consciousness. This man of imagination. This man who can solve all of the problems in humanity is your higher self. Your invisible self. And that is why unless you be born again, you can never see or understand or know the kingdom of God. Because to know the kingdom of God is to become the very kingdom of God itself. You see, many people, they get dreams and they dream they can fly and so on. Okay. I remember when I used to get those kind of dreams, you know, but that is child, child's play compared to when you start to dream that you can appear and you can disappear and you can, you can do it just by a thought and you can just like vaporize. You know what I mean? And you'll be there and people looking for you and they cannot see you. But when you have the experience, having lying on your bed and experience the great mighty shaking and experience the unearthly wind, experiment, uh, experience, I should say, all of the elements in one and vanish. Okay. By coming out of your skull, like when a woman gives birth, and you taking your invisible hand and pulling the rest of yourself out of your skull and become one with the wind and experience true consciousness. And you speak about consciousness being the only reality. When you say that consciousness creates reality, you are speaking your experience, you being the living book and you are explaining the written book then you know that the greatest lie that has been ever fed to all of humanity is that Jesus and Mary's story that has been interpreted to the masses as literal and as secular history no wonder why most of our people have been kept in mental slavery especially those who live in the colonies those who have been colonized by the, by the colonizers who miseducate them on their spirituality and miseducate them concerning who they are and they set up a system to have a willing labor force who willing to give their energy to 
have a hierarchy system in this world. When you awake to your true self by going beyond the third eye and you experiencing your invisible self, you become consciousness itself and realize that everything is an illusion. You realize everything is a vision. And you're told that without a vision, what? People will perish. Well, mystics are visionaries because they realize that the gateway to the soul is the eye and the gateway to other dimension is through the skull of man. So, my brother, my sisters, don't let anyone fool you about Golgotha or Calvary and make you believe in a man 2,000 years ago. Whenever you reach that place of experiencing Golgotha, it is because a star gate is open and you can go to wormhole and you can go to different dimensions. And you would understand your Christ self. You understand your higher self. And you would operate on this planet just like any other ordinary man. But the difference is that you would know who you are. You would know that you are God in flesh. Not by theory, but by experience. And that is why those who never had any experience at all, they would think that you are crazy. They will say blasphemy. And you would see the systems that have been keeping the people blind. You will see the systems that have been keeping the people bound in false knowing, intellectual knowing, and in false education. True education comes from within. It is to jar out from. When you start to jar out from your higher self, and live from inside out because you know who you are. It is because you've been educated in self-knowledge. And self-knowledge comes by experience. So, my brother, my sisters, you have to go beyond the third eye. Many can only teach about the third eye and speak about the third eye. Okay, but you have to desire to go beyond the third eye. And if I could have gone beyond the third eye and bust my, my crown chakra, it's because you can do the same. Because you have your melanin power. I call it the invisible fluid. It is within you at the base of your spine. It's that same sexual power that you use to multiply, that you use to create, that you use to procreate, that you use to transmute a life into this world to have a human experience. It is the same power that can take you into a new star gate or into a new star system. It can take you into different places in the astral world. So my brother, my sisters, do not get too caught up with all of the knowledge that is out there. But Get to know how complex you are and how powerful you are and what kind of power that you possess inside of you. Just as the sun that shines has so much power to power all of, the, all of humanity, all of nature, and to give all of humanity and nature its power, so too you have that power of the sun within you. You have that light, that energy. You being a light being. You have so much energy that is more powerful than a nuclear bomb. You have so much power that if you tap into this power, you would become your own Lord, your Savior, your Master, your Redeemer. And you would be one of the... You would be one in the one percent let me put it that way and so my brother my sister it doesn't have anything to do with how intellectual you are or how well you can speak it's an experience that is beyond the skull and as i come to a close here 
That is why when it comes to the ninth power, there's nothing higher because there's nothing higher than nine. When, when you start to learn to count, they, they teach you to count from zero to nine. You see, 10 is a, a one and a, a zero. You start over because there's nothing higher than nine. You come to the nine power. You come to the, your invisible self. You have the new birth. You've been born again into spirit without leaving this physical three-dimensional world through physical death. You are a spiritual inner death before you leave here in this physical body. Okay? So, the rapture and all of these things that people are talking about is something that will take place within you. And you will come to experience at the final frontier. A transportation is definitely translation. But everything takes place within you. That is why as I come to close, I want to say to you, it's very important that you, do, that you understand the Bible psychologically, understand the Bible metaphysically and esoterically. But you have to definitely focus all your energy inwardly. Because truly, the kingdom of God is within you. That's why you must go beyond the third eye. The third eye will help you to live in this world sumptuously. The third, world, the third eye will help you to see many, many things in this world. But when you have that experience, there's nothing higher and greater and more satisfying and fulfilling than having that experience where you go beyond the skull, where you go into the invisible, where you leave humanity to discover your real identity is your divinity. And that is how you see the far zone of his story. The story they give us. Especially those of us who, who were born and raised in the colonies. The story, you will know, it's all a damn lie. So, with that being said, my brother and my sisters, <laughs> thank you very much for listening to me. I want to say to you, if this is the very first time that you listen to me, what I'm saying, if it makes sense to you, if it really resonates with you, and you haven't subscribed already, I definitely want to encourage you to subscribe, to like, to comment, uh, to share this video. Also, if you like to follow me on Instagram, I like to follow me on TikTok, you can definitely follow me on Black Mad Guru. And if you like to grab a hold of my works, all of the links are down below. Also, you can get the No Jesus Bible, which is the 66 books of magic, the Overcomers Bible, to show you that you are a magician and that the Bible is a magical book. It's a book of miracles, and you can definitely discover your miraculous self if you would only remove uh, Jesus, which I did. And I leave a blank space for you to write your name. So if you would only put yourself there and claim that it is your spiritual autobiography that must be interpreted psychologically, you would definitely write, I am in that blank space. Because I am is the name of all of humanity. And I am is the name of God from generation to generation. You could never say I am and not referring to yourself. Moreover, the universal question of life is who am I? And when the answer comes, it must be I am. That I am, which is to say, I am whatever I believe myself to be. For as a man thinketh in the invisible world, in the subconscious mind, which is referred to as the heart, so is he in this physical, three-dimensional, physical world, this world of matter. Okay? So, I definitely encourage you to get that Bible. Also, if you want to be a part of my Patreon community, you are most welcome. And I have a course there for people who are donating 20 or more dollars. It's called the Innocent Science and Technology to Create Your Reality Conscious. Then along with that is a bonus course on self-concept. But the thing is, whatever that you desire, I would definitely encourage you to check out all of the links that are down below and let your intuition lead you and guide you into what to do. So with that being said, I just want to say peace, love you all, I'm out.